<laughs> so we've been on this road for about half an hour 45 minutes and i'm trying to get to a spot that i want to explore tomorrow go on a hike there's a weird looking on google earth there's like it's a volcanic area but on the inside is a bunch of sand and uh i'll get a I'll, I'll download something from google earth and show you right now what it looks like but anyway uh i haven't ever read anything about it but i just thought it looked fascinating so i want to drive out there and look at it the road hasn't been too gnarly but it's slow going been like this for a while and we're going up into the probably just to the right of that tall peak that's probably an old uh, uh volcanic cone of some sort but just beautiful country out here huh yeah <laughs> All right, we have to make a pit stop. Yeah, this place is like a little oasis. You can see we're the only tracks that have been here in a long time. Honeybees. <laughs> yep. Oh, that looks like a spring of some sort. Yeah, that's spring water for sure. Um, so the honeybees are in there, and what the uh, government does is it puts a little ladder in there so animals can get in there and take a drink. Or something falls in it can get back out again <laughs> isn't that weird man this is a bizarre place look at that oh by the way that's a huge tree or, or palm i should say we are in california so uh for you guys that think of california it's just beaches and uh you know water it's really a lot of it's desert like this well, love it yeah those bees are getting a little too rambunctious aren't they you know since there's water here we're really not supposed to camp near water it's supposed to be like a quarter of a mile away so that the desert wildlife can come in and drink so we're gonna i'm gonna move this is probably just like a day use area usually they have a sign up like no camping overnight uh, but we're just, we're just going to go ahead and uh, skedaddle, go up the trail. <laughs> it's a beautiful spot, though. That, whoa, that's a big drop right there. We'll be okay. I just don't know what that hitch. Man, I hope the hitch is okay. Hold on to your butts. Let's worry about that trailer hitch sticking out oh yeah no worries <laughs> okay the trail's getting a little wilder we have owls yeah <laughs> there you go i spent the afternoon kind of hiking around but i didn't really see much of interest so i didn't do a video this seems to be more interesting than anything i saw The uh, tracks we're following in, they, those people just turned around back there, so we're on our own now. The trails get pretty small. We got a long way to go, too. We're going to go all the way up to that high mountain right there. <laughs> I can't even see anymore. I'm going to have to put you away so I can concentrate. Jeez. <laughs> that ghost jeez. Well, I have good news and I have bad news. Good news is truck still running. Bad news is we took a wrong turn and we have to go back a long ways. <laughs> I mean, oh my God, almost to the very beginning. Um, there was a fork in the road and I went to the wrong way. Uh, I just got a little bit of cell signal and I can see the map and I can see that we need to be uh, 
<sighs> on the other side of the mountain where the sun's right on tip the top of the mountain we need to be way over there now so i don't think i don't think i'm gonna have enough gas to do it i'm gonna work my way back to the back to where we uh made the mistake and see how the fuel looks yeah that's all i can do we still got a couple hours we, well we'll get about another hour of light so i don't know I can't ride the motorcycle in the sand. That would kill me. So, let's go back. What do you say? <laughs> we'll, we'll go back past that uh, watering hole where the uh, animals, uh, animals will water. We'll go past that somewhere and set up camp probably. Well, I guess we're going to have to call it quits for today. Uh, the sun's getting behind the mountains. And um, we'll finish it up in the morning if we have enough fuel. We had to come back from the mountains. We were way up in the hills there, and we had to come. We had to come way back out. We're gonna have to go around this side to go get up in there. Um, so, and we'll do that in the morning. Uh, right now, we got some pretty good signal, so I figure we'll set up a little camp here. Uh, maybe try to get a video out for you guys, and we'll hit it again in the morning. It's a good place to look at stars tonight. Wide open here. It was really, really bright last night, so I'm looking forward to that. We'll see you after a bit. Well, at least you guys won't have to have any more pictures of uh, fried onions and potatoes. I got my last fried onion and potato going. In fact, I'm clean out of food. Oh, it's going to be delicious. Look at that flip them, huh? <laughs> I love those things. The way I cook them, kind of burned. I just looked at those caves over there with my binoculars. And uh, there's actually old rusty bed springs up in it, so somebody was using it for shelter at some point. <laughs> we probably won't worry about checking that out. Look at these little yellow um, posts right here. We're actually following a pipeline. That's why the road's so good here. So this is actually pretty sweet that we're going to be able to get close to where we want to go um, before it gets back into four-wheel drive. So we're still on the pipeline road and um, it's getting a little rougher but we're making good time no schmocking one set of tracks in front of us. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue across this wash. I'm gonna, I guess it's safe. <laughs> Rough looking country. narrower more narrow track vehicle tracked <laughs> tired vehicle um, old mechanized guy here uh, came in and went out we almost lost our curler hitch back in that last wash it's a really steep coming down and then uh, flattened out drive hard on the rocks. Yeah. Scraped again, but not too bad that time. We're still on the pipeline road, but boy, it's getting rougher. getting closer <laughs> looking at that uh, mountain over there 
and I can see there's like light colored scree, you know, the small stones coming down it. I was trying to see with my binoculars if that's a mine or not. If it is, we're going to have to hike up to it. But it might just be natural. Um, once we get, the sun gets up a little bit higher, we can get a better look at it. Yeah, that's weird looking, isn't it? This is all, all this rock is volcanic in origin. Man, we're, look at all, I guess that's quartz running through there. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. I guess we'll have to go over there on the way back and maybe uh, see if there's any big chunks of gold embedded in that quartz. We'll definitely do that on the way back. Really cool looking though, isn't it? All right, so I had to stop to kind of get my bearings a little bit and we're right on track, thankfully. I looked up across there uh, with my field glasses and I was looking at this light colored screen coming down on that side, but it looks natural. What we want to do is we're going to go about halfway to that crest up there and park and we're going to hike up to that little kind of like flat area right there. I think inside of that, it's where that sandy spot is that is going to be freaking awesome once we get up there. It's going to be like sitting on a Caribbean beach, you know, with all kinds of cool trees and cool sand. Well, it's going to be hot sand, but just with no water. <laughs> that's, going to, that's going to take us an hour or two to get up there too, but I think it'll be worth it. Well, you know what? I'll tell you, it might not be worth it, but... I love exploring places like this that are not on maps. No one talks about it. Um, you know, it's not going to be a bunch of people up there, you know, sipping uh, lattes. We're going to be by ourselves. And if we get hurt up there, we're going to be by ourselves. And if we have fun up there, we're going to be by ourselves too. Jeez. It's that next one I'm worried about. <laughs> That, that next one right there. Of course, we're close enough now we can walk it, so it's not a big deal. All right, it's really steep, but I don't think I don't think the motorcycle will drag there. I think it's enough of a run to it to um, yeah, drag a little bit, but not too bad. Let's see back there, maybe. This next one looks like it takes a lot of water, so it might be too steep for us. The, um, not for the truck, but for the motorcycle. Yeah, that's fine. Looking at the slope here, uh, we could definitely hike that, but I think if we go up in that little gap over there, we'll be able to just sneak around the other side. It's not quite as steep, but we'll have to go through that gap, or maybe just above it. Hope you guys think it's worth it. I do, because it's quite the adventure. You never know what we're going to find up there, or what we might find on the way. <laughs> oh, we don't die. All right. I think we are at the jumping off point for the hike. Now, a little bit earlier, you might have heard me say something to the effect, I hope we don't die. Uh, what I guess I should have said, which we're all going to die. I guess what I should have said is I hope I don't suffer too much if something weird happens. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're not going to hike down here, but we're going to work our way over and I think we'll go up that side right there. It looks a little bit less deep than that side. 
and it looks like a rock wall there well that's all that's natural whatever that is that's natural but on the other side of that i think there's going to be something really cool to see it's like a fortress it looks like a fortress from here doesn't it i'm really looking forward to this this is going to be awesome this is going to be an adventure gentlemen and gentle ladies all right i'm going to break the video here hate to say it but it's getting to be too long and i got to keep the uploads shorter out here so what we'll do is tomorrow night where the next video will be the hike from here up to there it's gonna be a good one i can already feel it Mother Earth, she's got her secrets, she's promised to keep.